Bed's not comfortable, pillow's not comfortable, you're just sleeping in different places. It's Airbnb, it's hotels. You, the sense of loneliness creeps in. You're tired, everyone's celebrating Christmas back here at home. Your family is missing you, you're missing your family, you're missing your beloveds. And you're working, working, working all the time. Day in and day out, you're working. And you wake up in the morning and it's dark outside and it's 8 o'clock, it's 7 o'clock, it's 9 o'clock, it's still dark. And then around 9.30, the light comes, but it's not sun, it's the light because it's gray. And then the sun goes down at 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm not used to that. So it's very depressing and then by 4 o'clock in the afternoon you're tired. I get super sleepy but you can't sleep at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's too early. And then the thoughts come. Oh, I feel so depressed. I hate this. I want to be home. I'm not loved. I don't have anyone in my life. Nobody cares for me. What am I doing here in a foreign land, foreigner? All these negative, dark thoughts come into your mind. It's like a dark cloud, like Darth Vader from Star Wars comes. It literally happens. I'm not making this up. And I wake up, this is the first thing I see. And I look at it, oh, that's the news this morning. I'm depressed, I'm not worthy, I'm lonely. So this is what I hear in my head. And I ignore it. I don't give it any attention. Because I know who I am. I know who I am. I know myself. I have discovered myself. I have mastered myself. So I don't pay any attention to these thoughts. You go take a shower, you shave, you make your juice, you get yourself ready. Then I go on my routine because I want to go get my cappuccino. And I'm walking and the streets of Stockholm and the snow coming down and it's beautiful and it's all white and I'm walking to this coffee shop and then all of a sudden tears starts to come down and I feel I'm so lucky I'm so blessed I'm here in Sweden or Norway or Denmark or Germany and I'm so loved and people love me and I have my students and they give me so much attention and love and respect and care so much. I get so much love from all of you. And how lucky I am that I can walk and my body works and my hands works and my arms works and my legs work. And I'm nice and warm and cozy and I walk into a coffee shop and they know me and, and I just like bliss comes. Gratitude comes. But if I gave in to those thoughts and I bought them, I would have been in deep shit. And then you get the news, all kinds of different news. This has happened, that has happened such and such and family got cancer, such and such person's going to die, da, 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 da. or you get the worldly news. But I can't get bothered by any of it. I have a mission. If I can not walk my talk, then I'm worthless. If I lose my dedication to the cause, then I'm worthless. I'm of no value.
so you ignore your thoughts, then sometimes strong emotions come. And once you learn to ignore that and stay centered within yourself, and the fear and the anxiety comes, the anxiousness, this anxiety comes every once in a while, that you need to do something. You got to do something. And it's worst on our children. It's worst on the younger generation. Because they don't know, because they are with their phones and their instruments all the time. So it creates a lot of imbalance in their neurotransmitters from their gut. They got digestion issues and the neurotransmitters are off. So there's this anxiety running through them all the time. Most of them, so many young people. People come to me with anxiety issues. But with the right training, right guidance, none of them have any power on the truth of who you are. Because awareness can never be touched by thoughts or emotions or your body. Awareness is beyond all of it. But we have to understand what awareness is. And you cannot understand what awareness is outside of words unless you become aware, unless you give it a try, unless you're willing Unless you're willing to sacrifice, sacrifice your attachments, your attachment to your mind, your attachment to your story, your life story, it has to go because it's of no value here. All it does, it amplifies fears. When you think about future, whatever you think of future is non-existing. Future is a projection of the past by the mind. Because future just simply does not exist. Neither has the past. None of them do exist. It's only now. It's this moment that only exists. Even if you're not present in this moment, you're still not present here, but you are here. Work on being present. Work on being centered. But let me tell you another thing. Centeredness is not even the end. We use being centered as the path, but it's not the goal. We learn to be still and be in your center. But that carries you as long as to the gates of awakening. After you're awakened, centeredness is gone because you will explode into everything. But to get to that point, you have to be centered. 